bladder rests on a smooth wall. So in our free body diagram, we're going to have a normal force from the wall, but not a friction force. The floor is rough with mu s equals 0.3. So at the floor, I will have a normal force, which I have to call something different. So call that Na and this Nb. And I will have friction. Since the ladder would fall down by having the bottom slip to the right, the friction force acts to the left. The ladder weighs 30 pounds, which I'm going to assume, because I have not been told otherwise, is in the middle of the 26 feet. And I'm going to have some angle theta. I don't know what theta is, but I do know that D is this distance down here. I want the ladder to not fall. My sum of the forces in X says NB equals FA. Sum of the forces in Y says 30 equals NA. And the sum of the moments at, oh, say, point A, since I have two forces there, 30 acts at a distance of 13 cosine theta minus NB, which acts at a distance of 26 times sine theta. Those have to balance. Now, this thing will slip. Impending motion happens when F equals mu times N. That is, when FA is 0 0.3, that's our coefficient of static friction, times the normal force at A. The normal force at A, by our sum of the forces Y, is 30 pounds. So FA has got to be equal to 9. Well, by the sum of the forces in X, this is in B. I want to plug both of these things into the sum of the moments at A. So I have 30 times 13 cosine theta minus 9, that's NB, times 26 sine theta equals 0. That happens when theta is 59.04 degrees. I was asked to find D so it didn't fall down. Impending motion happens when D is equal to 26 over cosine of 59.04. So as long as D is less than 13.4 feet, the ladder will not fall over.